Here's the location of the Value Inn in Grove City, Ohio, on the corner of Gantz and Stringtown Road. Very, very busy intersection. This front restaurant is not the Value Inn uh, ownership. It used to be, they separated it off, and now the Value Inn is right here. Okay, it's a U-shaped building with the, the walls are externally, there's a corridor, it used to be an external corridor, and then the owner built the exterior wall about 12 years ago the building the buildings probably around 1964 uh, built and all the exterior walls have been built about 12 years ago and we'll turn around this is the front of the building again again that China Bell restaurant is not part of the Value Inn, but it shares space and it's parceled off individually. Now there's the U-shape, the inside U-shape of the uh, Value Inn. There's a swimming pool, gazebo in the center. Um, the exterior walls are built around the inside U-shape also. There's 152 rooms. Four rooms are used as offices. The, the little areas there are open spaces uh, because of fire code. The fire marshal would not allow the exterior wall to be completely closed. So he had to put those air vents in there. Uh, which does create a heating issue during the winter. Um, so the the corridor are is is uh, very cold in the winter time, and of course very hot in the summertime. But it does protect the corridor from the outside elements, like an exposed corridor. And that is total of the value in. As you can see it's surrounded by the Golden Corral and McDonald's and uh, Mexican restaurant over there, Kentucky Fried Chicken over there, and several other hotels in the area. You got a Motel 6, you got a Comfort Inn, you got a Best Western, you have a Hampton Inn. This is the office part one of the rooms. We got four rooms that are used for offices out of 152 rooms. Okay, there's the window where the people come through. It's closed right now. Okay, there's the fire alarm, fire panel. $60,000 fire alarm. This is the reception room when people come in. <coughs> and then this is the office where they receive the money. Okay. $60,000 fire alarm panel. That's the one. Okay, these are exposed, I mean, an exterior corridor, but there's a wall that was put up. This is a typical bedroom. If I can. Okay. All 
all that's been new on these on this floor. <coughs> okay. Here is a handicapped shower. Everything's in good shape. Drop ceiling. Okay. That's a single bed. There's other rooms in here that are double beds. Yeah. Same good condition. All is good. Electricity's off right now. And the reason those panels are up are because those have holes in the walls, uh, which uh, is required by fire code uh, to have openings in the exterior wall. This is a another room, a regular room, with a single bed. This doesn't have the handicap shower. There you go. Everything looks good. But we're walking. The exterior wall was built about 15 years ago? Uh, uh, no, 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Yeah. This is an old, originally built as a Holiday Inn. Okay, we're going to housekeeping here. Okay. Okay. You have your your uh, washers and dryers, all your plumbing, your lockers, and uh, there's your power transformers. AEP transformers. AEP power company. Transformers, okay. There's a little break room in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. Here we take one. Double beds. Here's a room with the double beds in it. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. There we, go. Uh -oh. there we go. Sorry. This is the pool area. It is the uh, the center of the U. And there's the pool right there. Okay. It's also a, a 30 seconds away from the freeway. 71 South and Stringtown Road. Um, he said he used to have make about a million million dollar year gross uh, four years ago when he was open. It's been closed for four years due to uh, different violations and and little inspections from the city. The city's uh, given him grief on on uh, a list of things to do. He's completed everything. 74 units. 74 rooms are ready to occupy immediately. Um, he just, those are ready to be operated. And then he can fix the other 74 rooms or you would have to fix the other 74 rooms.